Uh, my friend who lives around the corner from me um, at his place watching the cricket, having a beer, and uh, he said, what's on your arm? And I said, oh, not quite sure. It's been there for a couple of months now. I think it's just a rash. And he said, no, it looks a bit strange. He said, I'd get that checked out if I was you. So um, yeah, I went to the, the doctor and um, ended up being a, a melanoma. So I didn't think it was going to be really anything. I thought it might have been, you know, get some cream and that'll fix that. Uh, Cause I was actually doing gardening then and I was, you know, in the sun a bit. And um, I thought maybe um, with a bush or a tree, I've got some sort of um, irritation from that. I had a little one year old with me at the time and um, yeah, it was just total shock and ended up uh, getting that biopsy back and it, yeah, it was a melanoma, ended up being a stage two melanoma. So I had that removed and um, while we were having it done, the surgeon actually said, you're a very lucky man. If you left this six months, you may not be here today. So how scary is that? First thoughts were, not me, what about everyone else? What about my children? My mum, you know, very close with mum, my sister, my dad, of course, you know, just I suppose your loved ones, you just think of them. I couldn't. I couldn't think of uh, a life for the kids without um, me being here, so um, let's make sure that doesn't happen. I've met a beautiful partner now that I'm, um, you know, I'm with and uh, we've got a great future going forward and the travelling that we want to do and we're building a house and all those things just wouldn't have happened. After my diagnosis, uh, I went to every three months um, checkup. Now I've got to a stage where I'm every six months and just before I'm leaving, I prompt them, when am I going? So I want to put it in my calendar as bang, that day I'm getting checked out. Uh, I look forward to it, to make sure that I'm going to be healthy and okay. And yeah, if I can talk about it with friends, family or whoever else, I'm very much happy to do so because potentially that could save their life. From my perspective, it's a matter of life and death. I've been someone that um, didn't think that I needed to have a skin checkup. I've never had one prior to um, having this little problem with my arm. And now I'm just telling all my family and friends uh, that they just need to get it done. So, you know, my mum, my sister, um, brother-in-law, uh, other family members have all done something because, you know, something's happened with me. I thought I was fine and if I left it, we may not be having this conversation.